Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 12th of 2022. Well, it is titled Aurora by Moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Aurora as seen in Sweden. And this was taken just a couple of days ago. And you can see the green glow of the Aurora out there in the distance. Now the Aurora occur when charged particles from the sun strike Earth's atmosphere and cause it to glow. And they're visible at only very far northerly or southerly latitudes. So we sometimes call them the northern or southern lights. And this occurs because those charged particles strike the Earth's magnetic field first and follow along the magnetic field. So they don't strike the Earth directly, but where the magnetic field lines come in to the Earth's surface and Earth's atmosphere and that is near the magnetic poles. And at those points is where those particles strike the Earth's atmosphere and cause things like oxygen to glow. Oxygen gives off a distinct green color when it's excited and that's what we're seeing here oxygen atoms in the very high upper atmosphere of Earth, which have been excited by the uh, particles from the sun. Now these do not come they're not don't come consistently in that there are storms that occur. So we have a space weather much as we have weather here on Earth we can have space weather from the sun. The more active the sun is the more intense the weather and we are coming out of a period of minimal solar activity over the last few years and approaching a maximum a couple of years from now. And that means we're going to start to see more and more storms and those include things like flares uh, from the sun that send material off the solar surface. Now that isn't always directed toward Earth because the Earth cre creates only a very small cross section at its orbit. So it's very you have to be directly aimed to hit Earth. But you can have some material coming out more. And if we do happen to get one of these flares in Earth's direction, we will get a much more intense aurora. And we will also see it at some further southern latitudes, not too far south, but other areas, not just the very far northern regions will be able to see it as well. The more intense the storm, the more distorted Earth's magnetic field becomes, and the lower latitudes at which we will be able to see Aurora. So we can look forward to many pictures like this over the coming years, as the solar activity increase slowly increases coming out of minimum a few years ago up to maximum coming up in a few more years. So that was our picture of the day for February 12th of 2022. It was titled Aurora by Moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be planet in the dark. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.